coral reefs are in big trouble all around the world. In the Caribbean, more than half of coral reefs have died off in only just the last 30 years. Warming temperatures are a big part of the problem. Even a one degree change in water temperature can upset the symbiotic relationship between the coral animal and the algae. If the algae gets too hot too fast, they can get stressed out and in turn leave the coral, causing it to lose its color and become what we call bleached. And of course, that means the coral can't get the energy from the sun anymore. Now corals can live for a little while like this, but if the temperature doesn't decrease in a few weeks, the corals are very likely to die. We're also seeing an increase in coral disease outbreaks, which are related to rising ocean temperatures and also to pollution that washes into the ocean when it rains. This includes things like fertilizers, garden chemicals, and human waste. Hurricanes, which are really common around here, can break pieces of coral off, and warmer temperatures have been contributing to an increase in the number and the intensity of hurricanes. Now you might know that climate change is caused largely by extra carbon dioxide, or CO2, entering into the atmosphere. A lot of this CO2 gets absorbed by the oceans, and it actually makes the oceans more acidic. It makes it harder in turn for corals to build their skeletons. Local factors also affect corals. Remember the parrotfish we were talking about? If too many organisms like this parrotfish and other organisms that eat algae on the reefs are harvested by fishers, then the algae can take over and they can harm the corals. Lastly, one thing you should keep in mind if you get the opportunity to visit a reef is that kicking them with your fins or stepping on them can break off pieces of coral just like a hurricane and also have a really negative effect on reefs.